Hey guys, Afro Pink here. You're watching Phone Lunch, and Sony has just announced their first ice cream sandwich smartphone. Mmm, ice cream sandwich. Mm. Don't be jealous. Now I gotta finish this whole thing before I can finish the video. But yeah, Sony announced their first ice cream sandwich. Smartphone, of course, not not a real ice cream sandwich. But mm, you kind of get the picture. Now before you get too excited about this new phone coming out from Sony that it's going to be an ice cream sandwich phone, I'll show a picture right here. Now it does look good. Now, you know, no doubt it looks good, but this is only going to be released in China. And there's no news about it being launched internationally, but don't worry guys, this phone, and I'm going to tell you right now, who cares if it doesn't get launched internationally. Because even though this phone is rocking 4.0 ice cream sandwich, it's really disappointing. Yes, it has a four inch display, but the resolution is only 800 by 480. It only comes with 512 MB of RAM, only one gig of internal storage, a five megapixel camera, and the biggest disappointment of all, it is running a one gigahertz single core Snapdragon CPU. See guys, don't worry about it, because we've seen specs of that type of phone two years ago. The only good news that we can get out of the story, guys, really, is that Sony is playing around with Ice Cream Sandwich, and they said that they're gonna be pushing out the update to all of its other smartphones but at the end of the day it does make me kind of sad to see a phone with these specs getting ice cream sandwich when let's just say um the original samsung galaxy s phones have pretty much these stats except a better cpu with the hummingbird processor that's a one gigahertz a uh, single core but the hummingbird processor not a snapdragon so it's a lot more faster and those phones are not getting ice cream sandwich but the original galaxy uh Galaxy S phone, or not Galaxy S one, Nexus S phone is getting ice cream sandwich and that has the exact same specs as all the uh, other Galaxy S phones like the Fascinate and the Captivate. So yeah, you know, that you know, that kind of pisses me off. And I bet it gets a lot of you guys out there upset too. So guys, leave in the comments below on what phone do you guys have and what phone do you guys wish would be getting the ice cream sandwich update. And yes, I know you can always flash it over or do a custom ROM, but it's just, it's just not the same as, you know, going to your phone hitting update and seeing 4.0 software just waiting for you to have. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I have two more phonish episodes this week. And if you guys want to check out more of my videos, you can check out my channel at youtube.com slash afropinkit. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>